Welcome back. It's still plus politics are moving to the second issue of the day. Barely a year and a half after APC Babajide Sonwolu assumed power as governor of Lagos State, the governor has begun a move to stop the payment of pension to ex-governors and their deputies. Governor Sonwolu on Tuesday in a bill submitted to the State House of Assembly announced his intention to repeal the public office order that's uh, payment of pension law 2007, which provides for payment of pension and other entitlements to former governors and their deputies. The payment of huge amounts as entitlement to former governors has been a subject of discourse with some political commentators seeing it as a waste of public funds. To discuss this, we have uh, the APC spokesperson in Lagos, Sheye Oladejo, uh, that is here in Lagos State, and later on we'll be joined by Taufik Ghani, who is the spokesperson of PDP, is also in the state. Let me start with Sheye uh, Oladejo, whom I understand. Okay, good, I can see you. Um, tell us more about this. We see this as quite unusual, coming from an unusual quarter. Is that something we do not understand that you want us to understand? It's not unusual. It is consistent with the social contract Mr. Governor signed with the people of the state. By the very fact of being voted into office last year and his inauguration on 29th May as the governor of the state of excellence, he promised to deliver on his mandate and that mandate includes responding to the dictates of the time. It speaks to the need to call down the cost of governance and for selfless service to the people of Lagos State. And then I must say, our party, the ruling party in Lagos State, APC, did give our blessings to this move, which I consider to be a move in the right direction. Part of the agitation of recent has been the need to call down on the cost of governance. And I think with the proposed repeal of these uh, pension law for former public holders, especially former governors and deputies. The state governor will be saving a whole lot of money that can be channeled to other developmental projects. So it's, it's a move in the right direction. I will commend him for it. Okay, uh, move in the right direction. Let me let me help you. Okay, we have uh, Ghani, uh, Taufi Ghani on the line, right? Yes, uh, Tofi Ghani, I'm sure you've heard the story about the current governor trying to cut down the pension. Can I give you an idea of what people are saying? A lot of people were like, this is what we've been calling for. And that seems to be that the governor has listened to them. Do you have a different opinion? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm actually on my way home, uh, but I have just managed to pack. Okay. I, I I was I was almost I was almost listening to all that the uh, governor said in the afternoon, uh, but somehow the network also went bad. I was in my car listening to the radio, and then suddenly uh, connected to the, the the project presentation. And many of us never knew that it was going to happen today. I, I, uh, the truth of the matter is that uh, this appears a uh, populist. Uh, to me, and this is not the position of APC, it is not the articulation of APC, I'm sorry, uh, PDP, PDP, ESCO. This is my personal opinion. If I were to have the God say, I will say that it is time to commend uh, the governor. Uh, we have always condemned when it does wrong. We can commend him now. But the truth of the matter is, is this a game being played out. I will play another game. Uh, so, so we believe that, yes, good. The one that takes it to the other is going to be in a different group of the states who support it. I think we might want to look at this from this perspective. That it is not only the issue of pension. For the complaint, let me make sure that this present government. We have to go further and letting us know the law that actually happened under that former governor, Fashola. Uh, 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 if you remember very well, it was uh, governor, former governor, Fashola, that passed the added in of his adding over. And we, so we condemned it then. There are so many other things. Then, I mean, if I have the permission, I'll say it's so many other. Corruption. I say, what is that over there? 
But let's come back to this now. Now, oh, if this is the uh, thing that the governor will do for negotiation, is not attempting to guide itself to 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 to, to negotiate uh, as we as, as we approach 2023. Good. When we get to the river, we will know how to cross the river. That is talking about the PDP as an opposition party now. Then it is also important that in looking at this pension that is going to be returned now, we have so many other areas, leakages, that must also be blocked. A former doctor in this state has pursued a way to the of the state to so far in a Kurudu, and then occupied that state. Kurudu is the one who is rumored and who probably is occupied, collecting the revenue for the state and collecting the state to get such revenue. Now, there are so many issues that I want to tell you, and at the risk of being looked at by Okay, Ghani. Ghani, let's let's try our best to uh, to fix the technology there. Uh, I I listened to the almost eighty percent of what you said, but the latter part, uh, the network seems to be uh, malfunctioning. But you've done so well. I, I I was I wish the camera was on me. I wanted to clap hands for you. When you praise um, our, uh, um, the governor from the other party to say that when someone does well, you do not have to be blind to that. Uh, Ashe Oladejo, do you think that's a lesson for us as politicians? Now, when I mean for us, I mean the political class to say that if the opposition feels you've done well, they give you the kudos, and, but it appears that the people in power hardly want to receive criticism. Well, that, that would all be correct. And let me also quickly say that it appears my brother, Ghani Taufik, is suddenly a new leave. Perhaps he's now become born again politically, <laughs> at least to admit that Mr. Governor has done excellently well by the proposed repeal of this uh, pension bill. As and Ghani, now, as as Ghani not as PDP. I was a member of Lagos State Cabinet until May last year. For, for the past 12 years, and I can be authoritative about this, the salaries and the monuments of members of that cabinet have not been revealed. And apart from the governor who went to press last week, that he hasn't bought new vehicles, new official vehicles since he came to office, the same thing applies to a number of his aides, special advisors and special assistants, who have also not bought the official vehicles. So sacrifices have been made here and there. And let me also quickly say, the budget presented today was the same budget of the kindled hope. If we're going to be realistic, we have to cut our cut according to our resources. We, we need to be prudent. And let me also say that at a time we are planning to rebuild Lagos, we, we have to show those who are mobilizing funds, the private, the public sector, the, the federal government, and other well wishers of the states who are joining in hands, who are joining hands with us to rebuild the state, that the state government is also ready to cut unnecessary wastages and make sure that we, we, we just get our priorities right as, as we move on. The, the NSAS protest was not just about police brutality alone. It also spoke about cutting cost of governance and this has been addressed at the... Exactly, Shea. Exactly, Shea. Let, let, let me quickly Mr. come in Robert here. Let me come in here before I go back to Ghani. I, I just want to co come in here. I, I'll give you a feedback. I, I think it's our job to give you people in power the feedback. There are some who come with that cynicism that this is about trying to correct whatever grouse the youth have against uh, the, 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 the party in power, that they are just trying to save their face. That, that would not be correct. We should commend the government for being in a position to reveal, this, to reveal its policies, its programs, as the times may demand. It is a thing of honor to to tend to I mean to consider whatever position you've taken before and you feel that the present reality, the economic situation, will not be able to sustain this. And those who are also affected should also be commended for their selflessness. Find the government is there to listen to the people and to respond to the details of the time. And that's basically what they're doing. 
OK. OK, so Gani, I hope that the network is fixed now. Now, you have just read something very important. And I noticed that you went into some other issues that you want government to also have a change of heart. And once again, I want to commend you for you know, being spot manly by commending your, the opposition when you feel they've done well. But beyond that, how do we also promote more accountable government, which the opposition is meant to drive, and not just you know, armchair criticism? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Honestly speaking, I, I did not hear you very clearly. Okay, let me quickly rephrase my question. Go, I just didn't want to call the phone for you to, to call back. But I don't know what my brother there uh, means by uh, turning the news. Our, our opposition in Lagos State is simply up for the sake of good governance in the state, for the people to enjoy it. And, and we are pragmatic. We are honest about it. We are not the destructive opposition. We are constructive. And as we speak, we still stand on it. Our cause to or square calls in the recent times, in the last seven days, one, advising the governor to resign for the falsehood that he gave and which the Nigerian army has come to debunk. Two, that the Labour State of Assembly can also go ahead to start investigation and eventual impeachment of the governor for him declaring that most of the cars that he has, the new cars, are donations by a uh, kind of negotiation. That is simplicity gratification. We need us come back to this issue. We are saying again, and I repeat, that this might not be, this is definitely not the position of Lagos PDP ESCO. It is my opinion that what the governor has done is worth being commended. But going beyond this, the 2023 election is there. And we know so many on that current. Going on. So this might be an APC against APC game. If it is for the good of Lagos State, if it is for the ordinary negotiant, so Okay, uh, but I think you've done well so far to know that uh, despite the network issue, you're able to still pick our thoughts and respond. But your response is what I don't know whether it is well with uh, Mr. Sheyola Dejo. Well, well, so, let, let okay, let me have you quickly that. <laughs> I don't want to believe that the network went bad because of the inconsistencies in the response. Because right now, we're not actually in the season of politicking. We're in the season of governance. And Mr. Governor is strictly very focused on that. You, you will also bear me witness that Mr. Governor has never really been distracted by politicking at any level. He's always been responsive to the yearnings of the people. He's always risen to the occasions as the situation might demand. My brothers less effort to drag me to discussing the issue of NSAs would not happen here because there's a fact-finding panel looking at that issue as we speak. So it would be subdued for us to make that a topic for discussion here. It can as well go to that panel and submit whatever position he has for mm. them to consider along whatever is going on at that panel. Mr. Governor is not thinking about 2023 politics. He's just focused on the governance and he's been applauded by, applauded by Hall and Sundry for his efforts. Okay, uh, while well, I hope uh, we have Gani back. Gani, can you hear me now? Gani Taufik, can you hear me? Okay, uh, while we're trying to reconnect with him, let me stay with you, Shay. Hello. Hello. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, yes, yes. Were, were you able to listen to your friend? No, 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 no. I am okay, good. Reconnected. Now, what he said is he would not go into the issue of uh, the answers, protests, and lucky because it's already before the panel of inquiry. And therefore, <laughs> let's stay on the topic of discourse, which has to do with what the governor has said. And it's on record that you, as Ghani Taufik, you commended the governor. Um, but you have also raised other issues that has to do with uh, whether he should be impeached or not, which he said he is not ready to uh, 
choosing his word now to drag into that matter. So can we stay on the issue of accountable governance? Now that this money is saved, what will be your advice so that this money can be said, oh, this is worth it? Yes, the, 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 the truth of the matter is uh, the end actually just surprised me. Uh, like we said, beyond this uh, pension that is about to be paid, I, as a matter of fact, I think it is just a cut down. It is not really a total, uh, and, and then we will also not support that former governors who is actually must have staffed well do not be entitled to pension. It's just this bogus, petitious, and, and put the down pension, which Fashola gives to Lagos, that is very embarrassing, that is hurting. But, but like we said, there are so many other areas. Now, today, at the national level, the, 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 the government of President Buhari is recovering a lot of loot. Now, they are saying that those loot are being plowed into developing uh, Nigeria in, in the rules that are Interestingly, from the fashion, former governor of Fashola is enjoying it. We don't have anything personal against him. But what we're saying is that a lot of things also went during the uh, gov government of Governor Fashola, during the government of Governor Metinumbu, during the governor, government of maybe Am Ambode as well. Those things must be recovered back and plowed back into this state. We must take back those, those monuments. Those property and and this extortionist, uh, extortionist way of deducting fifteen percent of the revenue of Lagos State by somebody who will all know and who today even part of our house was started to have been taken over the land area. I, okay, Tofik, I, 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 I wouldn't want you to say touted is because is we this is, that. I don't want you to use the word touted. I want you to talk with facts so that we can say this is proven by law and everywhere. So I, I quite appreciate your point. But let me give Oladejo the, res, the opportunity to respond to that because I understand that even serving yes, so one of these governments that, that Taufik mentioned, that you served in that my, government. My brother and his leaders in the PDP are always obsessed with this somebody, this imaginary somebody that they want <laughs> to drag into every argument, leveling on substantiated allegations as if just waking up from some nightmare and talking about the imaginary loopholes when everybody can see the, the level of infrastructural development that is Lagos State since the okay, inception Mr. Ghani, of the allow you respond has one we'll massive go. area of constant construction, development all over. To just play to the gallery and start assuming what you cannot prove, that you cannot even put a name to whoever you are alleging, we, we shouldn't be come into the public space to just waste people's time with all these allegations. And it's, it's like the big difficulty, challenge to focus on whatever topic for discourse at any time we appear on TV. And that has to say the least unfortunate. What we're here today to discuss is the fact that the governor of Lagos State has made a move to repeal this, the pension law of 2007 as, a, as it affects the past governors and deputy governors, which everybody has been honest enough to commend is a move in the right direction. And I believe this also go a long way to save us a whole lot of money that can okay. be channeled to other developments and purposes, not, not just some okay. imaginary... Share a lot there, Joe. For fairness and uh, equity, you started, so let's allow Ghani to finish up this conversation. He has raised the issue that let us come with superior argument if you want the people in power to listen to you. So you have... Let's just 60 seconds to do that. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Well, we, you have 60 we, seconds we, to we, finish. We, yes, yes. We leave, we leave ourselves very open. And, and uh, my brother, Mr. Patashi, can even go and fight this suit on behalf of these people that we have alleged. These are facts. And, and, and I, 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 I know they dare not. The truth of the matter is, this is a step in the right direction. We have said that about this repelling the uh, pensions uh, law of Lagos State. Governor Sawolu has called 
a good goal. Uh, it, it will give him mileage as we go into 2023. But I can tell you that as PDP, as opposition, when we get to the river, we know how to cross it. 2023 somehow is, is not ready okay. for, 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 for strategy now. But the truth of the matter is, let us also know how we represent our party. We should not always be too dramatic or attempt to tell lies where facts are just too plain. It doesn't matter. Tomorrow, okay. we can have reasons to want to say the truth, and then the people will say that is okay. just a liar. Thank you so much, uh, Kafu Let Dani. me quickly say that a myth that a party that has been constantly losing elections since 1999 is just talking about the next election. Now, election. that's Why? another discussion for another day. That's a discussion for another day. Thank you once again, Shere Oladejo, spokesperson of APC and Taufi Ghani for your time. And I must commend both of you for being very, very civil and cautious in your choice of words. I appreciate your time. Thank you once again. Thank you. Okay. And uh, to our viewers, we'll take a short breather. And when we return, I will be giving you my take. Please don't go anywhere. Here is my take. The name Okechuku Okeke is now on the news. Whether the gentleman is an attention seeker or a genuine litigant or even a government agent, the call should not only be ignored. Rather, the code of togetherness should be strengthened at all levels. Does he have a right to feel angry over the destruction of his property? The answer is yes. Is he directing his anger to the right quarters? That may not hold water. If truly he is an attention seeker, maybe the attention is to get compensation from a government who declared curfew and did not provide security for people's properties and even their lives. Whatever the true intention of the suit is, the coming days would unfold. And that's my take on the issue that was discussed earlier on. I remain yours truly, Coyote Ladeinde. Plus Politics returns tomorrow, same time, same station. And bye for now.